Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I want to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 17 hands-on science experiment, which is called Rock Bridge. And this is in your V and Cleves book on page 76. It's number 138, the Rock Bridge. And so you can start out by asking your students, um, what is a rock bridge? Have they ever seen a rock bridge? And if they have, do they know how a rock bridge is made? And I love these science documents from um, CC Connected from Nicole Liam. She has these awesome pictures. So you might just show them some pictures or find some on the internet of some rock bridges and just show them and then just wonder like, how do these stay up? Like how do they not fall down? And how were they made? You get their hypothesis on how these were created. And you can talk about how these were made uh, by erosion. Now this is a bridge, that an, an aqueduct bridge, but they mimic the arch shapes. And so, um, why do we use, why do they use arch shapes in, in architecture? And why is this shape so strong? And we're gonna find out why, we're gonna do some experiments about why. But these, these rock bridges in nature are formed by erosion, they're formed by weathering, and that is just like wind and water or ice and glaciers just wearing away. Either, you know, the wind is blowing bits of the rock away, the water is washing bits of the rock away, or sometimes the rain gets into cracks in the rock and freezes, and that ice, when that ice expands, it breaks off pieces of the rock. Um, in glaciers, they they move past the rocks and break away pieces. So they're formed by, by different things, different elements, and but they're they're made of rocks. And this is a good time to review, you know, what are the types of rocks? We have sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. And we're gonna talk about how these shapes can be so strong. And so um, on our campus, I think we're gonna have some stations set up. You can bring in books, you can bring in Jenga blocks, you can bring in DVD cases, and just have the students, maybe in groups, um, work together to see if they can build a rock bridge. So you'll need either chairs that have flat tops, or you could use the edges of a tables, two tables, and kind of space the tables apart so there's a gap in between and try to make the, their bridge across there. But you'll just have the students work together to build bridges. So I have a bridge that I made out of DVD cases. Um, the guide says to have, you know, your first block or book on the edge, but my chairs weren't totally flat, so I had to move move my DVD cases back a little bit. But see if they can use the supplies to um, make a rock bridge. And why does that work? Get their hypothesis. Um, you can have them experiment and see can they use fewer books, fewer cases to make their bridge. What happens um, when I make the space, when I move them farther out? Um, is it more stable if you if you move the cases um, farther out from each other or is it more stable if they're um, not so far out from each other? And we're gonna talk about why. It has to do with the center of gravity. So every object has a center of gravity and that's just like you can imagine like one point where most of the weight is pulled down. And when the rock bridge is formed, it's amazing. You can show, have them imagine like a rainbow shape through this structure. And it's like, you can imagine that's where the weight, when the weight is pressed down on the center, the center of gravity is like spread out through the whole structure, like that rainbow shape. So it's not all the weight being pressed down on the top, the way it's created, that weight is distributed and it's pressed down actually to the sides of the structure. So it's not all that pressure and all that weight being forced down in the middle. It actually distributes that center of gravity over to the side. So it makes it really strong. And that's why you'll see lots of arches in architecture. You'll see it in cathedrals. These are aqueducts that were used to carry water and it's a really strong structure but you have to you know be careful like how far apart each of your your blocks is because if it's if they're too far apart that center of gravity oh my is not distributed um correctly and the whole structure will collapse 
So um, it's a really fun experiment. I think the kids will really enjoy getting to try different ways of making their bridges and just seeing, make sure you bring some pictures of just some natural rock bridges and have a good discussion. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.